Are you struggling to lose weight even though you feel like you're eating less? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a few reasons why you might be eating more than you think, coming up. Now, before I dive into these tips, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post a new workout video or diet tip. Hey, my name is Jenny J, and I'm an online fitness and nutrition coach with over a decade of experience helping people get fit, lose weight, and change their lives through my online workouts and challenges. And in this video, I'm gonna go over a few reasons why you might be eating more than you think. Let's say you just started your weight loss journey and you've started to count your calories or cut calories or take out certain foods in order to lose weight, but you're still stuck. Well, I'm gonna share a few reasons why you might be eating more than you think, as well as a few tips that you can start taking action on today to start moving the needle forward. Now, in order to see weight loss happen on the scale, you need to have a caloric deficit. A calorie deficit basically means that you need to be eating less calories than your body burns throughout the day, including exercise. So that essentially means you need to be eating a little less and burning a little more. That's essentially the universal truth of how weight loss works. But there might be hidden reasons why you're still not seeing that scale budge. Now, reason number one that you might be eating more than you think is because because we're grossly underestimating our portion sizes. Now you might be thinking you're eating just a tablespoon of peanut butter here or a cup of you know, french fries there and maybe two cups of popcorn, but if you're not accurately checking your portions like as like measuring the portions out through you know an actual measuring cup or a tablespoon you might be overestimating your portion sizes it's very easy to overconsume things like nut butters trail mix popcorn french fries and especially if we're not eating at home we have less control over our portions when we're getting our food from takeout or from restaurants so you might be eating way more than your body needs in order to actually see that weight loss. So consider actually portioning out your food before you eat it. So instead of going to the pantry and eating your popcorn straight out of the bag, why don't, for an experiment, take out a measuring cup, get that old thing like out of the cupboards and actually see what a cup of popcorn looks like or what a serving of trail mix actually looks like. And you might be surprised that it's a lot less than what you're normally used to eating. A cup of popcorn is really not that much. And you know, a tablespoon of peanut butter or almond butter is really not that much. But if you're just taking your knife and putting it in your almond, uh, in your nut butter and just smothering it all over your toast, you might be in taking double or even triple the amount of servings that you should be having. So consider taking out those measuring cups and actually portioning out your food. That might help you get that caloric deficit by eating a little less by portion controlling your food. Reason number two that you are probably eating more than you think is that you're not considering the small bites of food that you have throughout the day as part of your entire day's worth of eating. Let's say you're counting your calories and you've told yourself to eat about 1800 calories a day. You're not considering the small bite of your kid's pizza or the small handful of trail mix you ate while driving in the car and you know the extra spoonful of nut butter that you put on your toast. There's a lot of opportunities throughout the day where we might be munching without even our conscious awareness. And all of those little bites really add up over time, especially if those bites are, you know, candy or trail mix or high calorie dense foods, even though you're just having a few handfuls of it, over time that's gonna add up and that's probably not helping you on your weight loss journey because again, at the end of the day, weight loss requires a caloric deficit. So if you can perhaps cut out those small bites throughout the day, 
And then also make sure that you're tracking your food, every little bite of food that goes into your mouth. This includes the small bites. This includes the cooking oils that you use to cook your vegetables and your meat. This includes all of the small bites that you have. So again, caloric deficit is required for weight loss and you need to make sure that you're considering the entire day's worth of eating and that also includes those liquid calories so if you're having that energy drink that has 200 calories or that sweetened iced tea or your coke or your starbucks frappuccino all of those liquid calories alone can probably take you way overboard as far as your caloric needs go for the day. So consider tracking everything that you're eating to make sure that you have a better, more accurate idea of how many calories you consume. Now question for you, do you find yourself mindlessly eating on snacks throughout the day, whether that's in the car or late at night? Comment below and let me know what you end up munching on and what your guilty pleasure is. Reason number three why you might be eating more than you think is that you're probably using really big plates and cups. And when we use big plates and cups, we tend to want to fill our plate up to get this sense of wholeness, of completeness of our meal. And when we use bigger plates, our eyes expand while our stomachs stay the same. So while we might think, you know, this is a plate of dinner, depending on the size of your plate, you might be eating, you know, double or even triple the amount of servings that you need for that dinner. So a quick tip here is to consider using smaller plates. This gives us this psychological effect where even though you're eating less, you don't feel like you're being gypped because your eyes are looking at this full plate of food, even though it is on a smaller plate, and you can register that sense of wholeness, of completeness, without actually derailing your weight loss goals. And in society, in general, we have completely overproportioned our food. You know, when it comes to our frappuccinos and our coffees and our lattes, as well as our dinners and lunches that we get at restaurants, they give us double, even triple the amount of food that we need. Um, so consider potentially portioning out your food before you actually eat it when you're at a restaurant. You can ask the waiter to cut the serving in half and just give you half of the plate and put the rest of the half in a to-go container so you can have it later for dinner or for the next day. So consider portioning out your food in, in restaurants and then also consider downsizing your plates and your cups to give you that psychological effect that you're eating a full plate without actually derailing your goals. And reason number four of why you might be eating more than you think is that you aren't being mindful of when you're eating. This is also known as mindless eating or distracted eating. Now, in order to combat this, you wanna make sure that eating becomes an event, not a pastime or a secondary activity to go alongside your binge watching Netflix or you know, scrolling your newsfeed or listening to music or whatever you have going on. We wanna make eating the priority and this will help register more of our fullness cues in our body. When we focus on chewing our food, digesting it, and chewing slowly, you'll be able to feel fuller probably faster than you would if you were eating the same amount distracted. And it's because we need to bring more awareness to our food that, make, that causes us to overeat. Because when we're distracted, our brain can't register that we're eating this food and so the fullness cue is delayed. So consider instead of eating your popcorn, you know, while you're watching TV, can you actually sit at a table, distraction free, and eat that popcorn without anything else going on. 
I know that's like a novelty thing to do nowadays, but I promise you, you'll probably eat less, you'll probably be more satisfied with less food, and you'll have a better awareness of your hunger and your fullness cues because you're being more mindful when you're eating. Now, I hope those tips helped you learn why even though you started your weight loss journey and are potentially cutting out calories or reducing your food intake, you might be eating a little more than you actually think. So I hope those tips, those action items that I shared with you are things that you can start working on today to help you move the needle forward. Now, if you like those tips and want more from me, please like and comment below and let me know which tip resonated with you most. As always, I post new workouts and diet tips, so feel free to check out my page. And if you need help on your weight loss journey and would love a sample meal plan to help you get started, I actually have a free all-day meal plan that you can instantly get by clicking on the link in the description below. So I hope it helps you. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.